thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? Hurry up, Mr. Morgan! Now, I was saying... I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Oh. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Easy now. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here.
This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. So, uh, yes. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Be careful. There are some steep turns up ahead, but the views are beautiful from up here. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Back to what I was talking about. I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. It hardened me feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. 